good morning students today we are going to see the problem related to valuation in today's problem we are going to find how to we are going to see how to fix the rent of for a building now see here i have directly written the given data for the problem what they have given in this problem they have given us the construction cost as rupees 1 lakh 50000 They are in this problem. They have given us the plot area as 600 meter square. They have also given us the return as expected return as 8 percent on the construction cost as well as on the land. That is the desired return is 8 percent for the both construction of the building as well as the land. Next, they have given us as land as 600 meter square. and the rate of the land is rupees 50 per meter square next they have given us the scrap value as 10% whereas they have given us the life of the building as 60 years okay next they have given us as rate of interest i is equal to 3% for the sinking fund and the other outgoings as 30% of the gross rent now here in the initially we have seen that they have given us the rate of the land directly or the total investment on the land directly but in this problem they have given us the plot area of 600 meter square and the rate of land as rupees 50 per meter square so initially in the step 1 we have to find the cost of the land okay so the cost of land is rupees 600 into 50 that is 30000 whereas they have given us the construction cost as 1 lakh 50000 so if we just add the both that is the cost of land and the cost of construction that is rupees 30000 plus rupees 1 lakh 50000 the total comes out to be 1 lakh 80000 okay now the second step is to find the net return here they have given us the net return as 8% that is nothing but the desired profit or the desired return in this problem they have given us the desired net percentage expected as 8% on the construction cost as well as building cost sorry land cost so we have already added it, it to be 1 lakh 80000 so the 8% of 1 lakh 80000 comes out to be rupees 14400 this is say it as 1 okay now secondly we have to find the expenditure on outgoings it is 30% let x be the gross rent so 30% of gross rent will be equal to 0.3x so the net cost of building is equal to original cost minus scrap value that is equal to construction cost is 1 lakh 50000 minus 10% of construction cost is 1 or 10 upon 100 into 1 lakh 50000 it comes out to be 1 lakh 50000 minus 15000 that is equal to 1 lakh 35000 the next step is to work out the sinking fund the annual sinking fund for 1 rupee can be calculated using the formula s is equal to i upon 1 plus i raised to n minus 1 where i is nothing but the rate of interest for the sinking fund n is number of years that is the life of the building so it will comes out to be 0.03 divided by into bracket 1 plus 0.03 raised to 60 Minus one. That is equal to zero point zero zero six one. Here we have taken zero point zero three because the rate of interest is three percent. So while solving the problem, we have to always substitute the value of percentage as the given percentage divided by hundred. That is equal to three upon one hundred. That is equal to zero point zero three. So we have substituted the value of I as zero point zero three. So the For and the work out the yes as zero point zero zero six one. So for rupee one it is zero point zero zero six one. Then for rupees one lakh thirty five thousand it will be equals to zero point zero zero six one into one lakh thirty five thousand. 
it will comes to be rupees 823.5 say it is as 2 equation 2 therefore the net income per year is equal to x minus 0.3x minus 823.5 so now equating one equation 1 and equation 2 we get 14000 400 is equal to 0.7x minus 823.5 therefore 14 point sorry 14400 minus 8 when minus sign gets converted to plus plus 823.5 is equal to 0.7x okay therefore 0.7x is equal to 15 15223.5 therefore x will be equal to 15223.5 divided by 0.7 it comes to be 22 lakh sorry 21747.86 this is the annual rent but we are we are year to find the rent per month so how to find the rent per month the rent per month is equal to annual rent divided by total number of months in a year that is 12 so the rent per month is equal to 21747.86 divided by 12 that will comes to be rupees 812 per month in this way we have to find the rent per month when they have given the construction cost the land cost in the form of plot area and the rate of the land per meter square here they have given us the rate returns expected they have given us the scrap value they have given us the life of the building and the rate of interest they have also given us the outgoings in the form of percentage of gross rent but they have not given us the money that is required for maintenance and repair etc for so for this given data we are going to use these formulas these steps and we have to find the monthly rent for the given building thank you students